I'm Kevin, W-A-N-I, coming back to you because I had a couple questions on the last video. I want to answer those and give you guys some help using Google Maps. So stick around. All right, so last time I showed you guys uh, pretty much how I got this map. I uh, talked about how you can go through then and make changes to this, but I had a few questions, and so I want to go back and rebuild, uh, rebuild a map so that that way uh, it kind of explains things a little bit better. So we're going to go back to the Parks on the Air list. Uh, I'm just going to pull down Ohio. I'm only going to do one state here. Uh, you can do multiple states. If you noticed uh, what I have here, I've got Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, which I've activated parks in. I also have South Carolina in here as well as Florida because I've done some parks in all those states. Um, Google Maps will hold 2,000 locations. So you can't do the entire United States, but you could probably do a large majority of them. And there's actually an option if you have activated most of the United States. There's a few people who have done it, and I can show you that option in just a minute. But I'm just going to do Ohio, and I'll talk about those options here in a little bit. So first thing you do, you go to Ohio. You get the list of parks, and you download the that list as a CSV down into your download folder. Then you go back to Maps, Google Maps, and I am going to back all the way out, and I'm going to start all over again. Clear down here at the bottom. Uh, it says Create Map. So when you start over, you've got nothing on the map. Uh, you click Create Map, and it opens up another window move over here and the first thing we want to do is we want to import the information we have. So we select a file from our device CSV file, upload that longitude and latitude because that's what we want and then I'm going to have it named by reference and finish it. Now it's going to be loading over here and as soon as it loads it shows all of our all of our parks. All right, there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, uniform style, we do not want uniform style. We want a, either individual styles or style by data column. Um, I showed individual styles the last time, uh, but if you do styles by data column, you can choose, for example, my activations. Okay, so I click on that, and now it gives me which parks I've activated and which ones I haven't. So the parks that are zero activations are all in green, and then all the rest are various colors. Now you can go through and change those colors, make them all uniform if you wish. Uh, totally up to you. Uh, me, I, I don't do it this way. Uh, the reason I don't do it this way is now you're locked in. Uh, you go and activate a new park, one of these green ones, and now you're going to have to re-download and redo all this all over again. I'm not keen on doing that. So for me, I would rather just have it be individual styles uh, with reference labels, so that way it's got the reference. There's K1956 there. Um, and then that way I can go in and I can change them myself. Uh, I don't have that many parks that I've done, so I can just do it myself. But you can surely go back and do it the other way if you want. All you got to do, like I said, is set the style of data column to anything you want. Attempts, activations, my activations and boom, you can do it that way too. Whichever way you want to do it is absolutely fine. So I have it by individual style. Uh, that way I can make the changes myself. So what you do then is you just go ahead and you oh, name the map. Now 
I name the map, I close out, and then I hit refresh here. And there's my YouTube POTA map that I just built. Now, somebody asked if you can export this to your phone so that, let's say, for example, I look at this map, I pull it up, and I see that I've activated up here, but um, this park right here, 9396 Campbell State Nature Preserve, I have not activated yet. So can I go to my phone and somehow get directions to this? Well, the answer is yes. Yes, you can. All right, so here's my iPhone. If you got Google Maps downloaded already, you just open it up and it finds where you are. Uh, you click down here in the bottom to saved and scroll down to maps. And that POTA map will pull right up and you will have your POTA map right there on your phone. So then you zoom into where you want to go. You can click on that item and it automatically gives you your location and tells you, hey, are you ready to start to go? You click on start and you're off and running. It's that simple. All right, one last item left to cover. If you want to do the entire United States, all of POTA, uh, there's almost uh, 9,500 parks in the United States, but you can surely go through and make region maps and that way you could have all of them on your Google account so no matter where you are you would be able to pull those up as long as you had cell service and you would be able to then find directions to other parks or anything else so uh, just depending on how those play out remember you got 2,000 per map so go ahead and play around with it all right so there you go I hope that helps you guys out a lot Go ahead and dig into some of those features of Google Map. There's a lot of them in there. I haven't even scratched the surface, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Uh, if there's something else you need, something else you're curious about, go ahead and drop a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you. Again, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. This is W8NI73. Put on.